gonna start this off by saying that Centurion's command should not be this hard to get. All right, so first of all, my mic is different right now. I'm using the headset mic versus my um, Yeti, which is sitting on the edge of the desk, just waiting for me to plug it back in. I'm working on something else right now, but um, I'm gonna be using this mic for the future videos to come, um, at least until this situation moves over. Now, getting back on topic, Centurion's command should not be that hard to get. It is nearly impossible to get, to be honest. Every other blessing in this game relies on you just either playing the storyline for the first four, which would be Gifted of Valor, Mark of the Wolf, Mine Heart Legacy, and the Crescent Moon Blessing. Nightwind is a tricky one because it's kind of RNG, but it's more of the fact that like, you're going to get it eventually. But it's still RNG, which I don't agree with because, like I said, RNG shouldn't have a place in your skill tree. Storm Chaser is just grindy. There's no RNG to it. Interior Rounds Command, like I said, complete RNG. Blind Executioner, grindy. That's fine. Even the Event Blessings were just grindy. They were just grindy. There was no RNG to it. Just grind. But with Nightwind, so Nightwind you need to get five different fragments. Was it five? I think it's five. I want you to get a number of different fragments. I think it's five different fragments. You need to get five different fragments and um, you need to put them together and take them to the to the Fasarius altar. But to get these fragments, you have to run dungeons and to um, to get them, you have to op you have to beat the dungeon and hopefully you get one of the fragments out of the end box in the dungeon, the sealed chest or however you would get it from that dungeon. Now, if you do not to get it from that box, you're just gonna have to keep running it over and over. That's the RNG portion of that, that I don't agree with. I feel like it should be changed to where if you run the dungeon five times, then you get Nightwind. Or if you run it like ten times and you don't get the um you don't get the, the blessing piece, you you get the blessing piece from completing it ten times. Something like that. But the RNG portion of that needs to get out of this game because it's it it really will like drive a wedge in the community. It already has when it comes to trying to get Centurion's command. And everybody's so like everybody's so on edge about who's gonna get it that no one wants to get no one wants to sell the mounts if they get it. So everyone's sticking with their one mount or two mounts that they have. And the RNG portion of it is ridiculous. And I'm gonna get into a little sub story here about how the RNG of this is ridiculous. So I have um I have every other blessing. I got Blind Executioner really early on. Um, I think I was one of the first people to buy an on PS4, next to my guild back then. Um, but Centurion's Command, it takes you to complete each one of these uh, campaign things, these miniature campaigns. And, you know, there's 10 tasks here, 11 tasks here, or 12 tasks here, 14 tasks here, 18 tasks, 23 tasks, 23 tasks. Then you finally get Centurion's Command. All these other tasks are doable without anything of RNG having to be done with it, I'm pre if I remember correctly. Um, even one of them is getting Storm Chaser, which like I said, Storm Chaser is just a grind, which is fine. But this one task here requires you to get the treasure maps, the treasure map um, mounts. And that is complete RNG. Now I said I was gonna tell you a little story. I have opened, I wanna say 300, 300 of these map fragments on Xbox before I got one mount. Before I got one mount, I opened 300 fragments. It takes eight map fragments. Sorry, I opened 300 maps. It takes eight map fragments to make one map. And you have to grind these, by the way. You either grind them or you buy them from someone on the marketplace. But most of mine were grinded. So you need. 300, I did 300 um, maps, I opened 300 of them, and on like, I think it was probably 260 something, I don't remember the exact number, it was around 260 something, that I got my first mount, and I just opened the rest just to see, you know, maybe I'll get another one just in case, no, it didn't happen, RNG, complete RNG, I've opened probably around 300 maps, different maps on this one. Uh, I've opened probably around 300 different maps on PlayStation, and I haven't gotten one mount from opening those. I bought this white warhorse, actually. Someone posted it on the marketplace for a pretty decent price, and I went ahead and snatched it up while it was there. 
but um yeah that's pretty much it everyone is probably stuck at one or two some people probably have three or four of these mounts and that's pretty much as far as we're going to get when it comes to it because of the rng portion of this entire thing you need to get i think it was 12 mounts or 11 mounts let me see that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve mounts that you're gonna have to just wish and hope that you're gonna be able to get from opening these chests some people are getting some people have gotten one mount on their first chest opening and then there's people like me that have waited 200 and something to get one and then they still haven't pulled another one 300 chests later so i think this 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 needs to change i just need to make it to where every if you like open 20 chests you get like you get the mount based off your 20 chests like just by stacking up failed chest openings or something or just take it out completely when it comes to this because like i said it's uh in game the blessing is a skill tree that should be accessible without rng being a factor in it like there's no reason we should be not a we shouldn't be able to ever use a skill tree because we can't access this portion of we can't find a mount that is based on rng we can't find 12 mounts that are based on rng and it's a double rng section too because you have first get the mac fragments that drop only from killing mobs so you have to grind mobs for hours at a time or just buy the map fragments which you can do um if they're on the marketplace that's the other thing they have to be on the marketplace for you to buy them so you have to grind mobs for hours at a time to get and these map fragments don't drop back to back like you would think you have to grind mobs back to back for hours at a time to get map you get to get eight, eight, eight map fragments to get one drop chance you have to put that put those eight together get that one drop chance if it fails you go back at it you can stack them if you want it won't change your chances so people think oh you know open more this and that no there's no fail stacking these chests to where you can open like you know a few chests and then you'll get it because oh you failed this many chests there's nothing like that in this game it's just rng completely and it sucks and it really shouldn't affect the fact that you should you can't be able to use one whole skill tree in the game so hopefully they do change um the way you can obtain such an honest blessing make it so that you have to like you know complete abyssal dungeons in a certain amount of time uh, or something like just do something different except for rng rng should not be a po something that holds people back from progressing in the game and then realize they put in blind executioner after they put in Centurion's command by the way and blind executioner is better than Centurion's command for most classes for pretty much every class blind executioner is better than Centurion's command and it's just like, well, why would I even want to turn command in the first place? For some classes, the the passive is actually what makes the um what makes Centurion's command worth getting and maxing out. Other than that, you wouldn't use it because Blind Executioner is just that much better, or Nightwing is just that much better. But yeah, so that's my thought on that. Uh, hopefully, you guys would agree, disagree, argue with me in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video, I guess, and I'll see you guys in the future. Peace.